Hey guys, Max Lovey Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon at Coliseum. So, last episode when we left off, we basically did nothing. We fought one Cypher Peon dude, and then one that was disguised as a, a grandpa. And then we tried to take on Dekim, but unfortunately, he's way too high leveled right now for us. Uh, so I figured we would just stick to the story part right now and we'll maybe go through and take on Mirror B and Dekim a little bit later. Uh, but we're needing to get past that door, Grunt. I'm guessing there's a daredevil in you. Of course there is. So I'm going to take out Cypher Peon Bailia? Bela? Bela? I have no idea what, to, what her name is. Bela? And she has a Sunflora and a... Oh, I didn't see the other one. I kind of didn't notice it. Uh, Sunflora and what? Something I'm catching, I know. Oh, the Sunflora. Okay, well fine, we'll catch the Sunflora. And a Gloom. Oh, okay, Gloom. Alright, so let's Shadow Rush the Sunflora and let us focus on the Gloom. Gotta get these guys out of here and get Sunflora up and ready to be caught. I like how they're giving us more though. They really are giving us a lot more. Oh man. They're going to destroy you, Sudowoodo. I am just telling you right now, they are going to destroy you with <laughs> solar beams. Because I guarantee you that they're both training their solar beams on you. I guarantee you. Okay, so let's Shadow Rush and we will... Oh, wait, no. We want to Shadow Rush you and bite you. The only bad thing, though, about having Umbreon before Espeon is Espeon kind of is our really big special attacker. So we can pretty much one-shot everything. And Umbreon, it takes quite a bit of time because all we have is Bite. Oh, I didn't mean to actually send Espeon out, but I guess I did. Okay. Oh, and you did not use Solar Beam. I guess I guess one of them used Sunny Day and one of them used Solar Beam. I know some Flora used Solar Beam. I guess Gloom used Sunny Day. I was thinking they both used Solar Beam and they both were uh, training their Solar Beams right on, uh, right on, oh, shit. Doodoo okay, I'm like literally losing it right now. Alright, I'm gonna confuse the Sunflora and get rid of this Gloom before I take Espeon out of here. Because it's taking way too long with Umbreon, really, really long time Umbreon, taking you like five it's to try to do this. When it literally took Espeon one attack. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, um, but we do have a new kitten in the house, and she is playing with one of my cats, and for some reason, all she wants to do is attack her and, like, bite her on the butt. I don't know why. So, if you hear hissing and stuff in the background, it is them trying to play, and I know you might be thinking, wait, she bites her and you think it's playing? That's not playing. Yeah, well, it kind of is. I mean, she's not hurting her. She's not. If she was, then I would definitely have to do something, but she's just a little kitten. She doesn't really know too better. All the cats have been, have been like hissing at her and stuff because they're trying to teach her how to be a cat when she grows up. <laughs> And how to be easy and not be like super mean and super aggressive. So she's learning, but it really is kind of strange because my cat will literally be like, "Well, uh, I don't want to play with you and hiss at her whenever she comes after." But then she will immediately run off and run back to her, wanting to play. So it's very confusing to me. But hey, they're cats. I guess they're going to be confusing. You know, I'm actually really surprised that Entei is down as far as it is on its bar. I thought it would literally take us forever for Entei to get down at least a little bit. Okay, I guess we're going to have to double team. You know what? I'm going to use Faint Attack and I'm going to see what happens. Uh, because honestly, Bite is not doing a thing. And I think Faint Attack and Bite, though, I feel like they're the same strength. Why do I feel it? I think they are, but it just seems like they're not doing anything. I wish we had Crunch. That's two things I want. I want Psychic on, uh, I want Psychic on Espeon, and I want Crunch 
Her Umbreon. That's what I want. There you go, Entei. Picking up the slack, at least doing a little bit of damage. Alright, so can Faint Attack do a little more? Not really, it kind of does the same amount. Okay, well... There goes that. Uh, so let's see. I think they have one more. So I'm going to focus all on that side. Jumpwolf's gonna put back the sun back out again, helping out some flora. I'm noticing a theme here with the uh, with the teams that are being assembled by the new the uh, basically everyone that we're facing because they're kind of having their double team stuff down. We have some sunny day solar beam users, some earthquake levitators. Really, uh, really interesting how different they are and how they're kind of playing into the double team, the, the double battle, the double battle rules. They're doing, what am I saying? They're doing good with the double battle theme or double battle, uh, that's right on the tip of my tongue, strategy. There it is. <laughs> They're really doing good with the double team strategy. Double battle strategy. They're using the teams to their advantage. Well, I myself am not doing that, which I should be doing a lot more of. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the ball here. On the Sunflora, because I'm going to use one more bite. I think it, it can live one more bite. So I'm gonna do one more if we are not able to catch it. Hopefully we should be able to. Yes, we did. Okay. It is just a sunflora. I I was thinking that it was gonna be kinda of, kinda of difficult, but luckily for us it was not. Huh? What do you mean I lost? Why? Well, it might have been because I had this thing on my arm called a snag thing. I don't even know what it's called myself. And it allows me to, to catch your Pokemon. So basically, I'm gonna win if you have one Pokemon left and it's a shadow. Because I'm gonna be able to catch it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back and heal up once again. And then once we heal up, we will continue on. The question is, do we wanna go to the right? Or do we wanna go straight to the back? I feel like we wanna go to the right. For some reason I feel I'm feeling right because I feel like right is gonna be the wrong way. And I wanna go the wrong way first. Let me just save real quick. I'm making sure I'm saving very often. Because I know that very it's gonna be very rare that I'm gonna be able to uh, to save in this game. So I'm relying on the save states, definitely while I can. It's not like an XD. Oh, what? Okay, maybe that's the way to go. That door with the beautiful looking Pokeball and everything on it. So you know what? Let's go back and go back through here and see what's up this way. Oh yeah, this is just a dead end. So this is where we want to be. And hello, you. I'm not taking you on because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to die. Well, my Pokemon are going to faint and of course, not going to make it through. So there's the other boss that we can re-battle again, of course. So I know that's the right way to go. So let's go this way and let's see who's here at the end of this hallway. Is it a dead end? It looks to be. I love it whenever things are dead ends. It just makes it so much easier to tell and be able to navigate through things. Oh, and there's Ian, of course. So there's all the bosses, all the big bad bosses who have had the legendary beast. And then of course, Mirror B, because he's Mirror B. He's, he's, he's cool. We can take them on whenever we're able to. So I guess we'll go back through this door. Oh, we can't go through this door. What do we do? Do we like push the buttons? Oh, okay, so you have to have a key, right? Red, R, F, U, D, N, A sample. 
No. No subway key. No. Okay, I'm just reading through the Ian file right now. Well, I guess we don't have the key, so we can't go back here. You need a blue key, a red key, a green key. Oh, okay. I get it now. I get it. I think you get the keys from defeating the bosses. I got it. I totally got it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right. So that means... That means I have a lot of work to do. That's what that means. It means I have to finally do the things that I said that I was going to do off screen that I didn't do. Which means I need to get these shadows out of here. So we can have some better shadows, honestly. Because right now we don't have very good shadows. And there's no way I'm going to be able to take out Mirror Bee or what's their names. Um, Ian or Dakim or any of them. Unless we have some better Pokemon. So, I think what we need to do is we need to go out of here, and since we are only 10 minutes in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some things that I said I was going to do off screen, on screen, so you guys can see that I'm actually going to get them finished, I'm actually going to do it. So let's go through and buy some more items, more Pokeballs of course. Because we cannot, for some reason, buy Pokeballs anywhere else but here. And we want more Ultra Balls. We have $16,000. So I will buy 10 Ultra Balls. And of course we're going to need to buy some more healing items as well. Actually, let me see if I have anything to sell. Uh, because we do have a lot of stuff that we collected. Alright, so we've got an HP up, raises the HP. Uh, I could sell that. I don't think I want to use it. So I'm going to sell that. Elixir. Lemonade Time Flu Quick Claw. XP Share. I uh, don't think I want to sell anything else. Maybe we have... We have quite a few rare candies. I might use them on Espeon and Umbreon. So do we have, okay, we have Toxic, Attract, Thief, um, could be useful, so I'll keep those. Alright, so we don't have anything else that we need to sell. Now we need to go into a city that has a, a market so that I can buy some stuff. I believe a gate village does. So let's go back to a gate village. And I feel like there's somewhere around here. Oh, I can take on the battle towers, I think. I know that there's some areas around here where I can take on um, some, like battle towers and stuff. And I can get my shadow Pokemon stuff down. So let's buy some hyper potions. Buy some more of those. And I guess we'll do one of these. We're really running low on money again. Okay. So that's done. And, uh, oh, we can also take on those people down in the square. Um, we can't catch any more shadows from them, I don't think, but we can take them on. They should be uh, low level, the ones in Pride Town. I believe you can battle them multiple times. I don't know if their levels go higher each time you take them on. I'm not really for sure. Uh, so let's go, let's go check that out real quick. I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I can take on these trainers here. Yeah, I can take on the battle trainers, take on the battle trainers. And then once my shadows get their shadow thing down, of course, we'll be able to um, get some new shadows on the team, which would be greatly, greatly helpful for us. And also, it'll do. It'll just be good experience for Umbreon and Espeon as well, because they need to be higher leveled too. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing a lot of work. I'm going to be doing a lot of work off screen. <laughs> That's what's going to be happening. 
but it probably won't be too much. I mean, I'll pretty much just go through here and I'll probably keep battling these guys as much as I can. And then when we get to a certain level, then we should be good to go take on to Kim, Mir B, uh, whatever that woman's name is, and Ian. I just can't remember her name for some reason. And then I think once we defeat all four of them, it will give us the keys, and then we'll be able to use the keys to get into the real gen tower. So, I got a lot of work to do. Uh, I don't know, can I hit by noon with that? I don't know, is, sh is the Shadow Rush move considered a ghost type move? I don't think it is. It doesn't say it has a type. I should be able to hit Lightning with it. Although, I'm not getting very much experience. I don't think I am. Let me see how much I, got, I get for this Shepherd here. Yeah, I'm not getting too much experience, but the Hyper Mode is great though. That's very helpful. I'm gonna call Sudo. I might, what I might actually do it's instead of having Umbreon and Espeon be the leaders, like with the shadow, you have Umbreon with the shadow or Espeon with the shadow at all times. I never have two shadows out at once. I might take two shadows out at once. That way we'll have I'll have a greater chance of getting the shadow mode to go down. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I'm just I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking. Think of thinking. Because we definitely are under leveled right now. I don't want to. I don't really want to use the rare candies, but if I have to, I guess I will. I'm thinking once Umbreon gets level 42, and Espeon gets level 43, I believe, because I think they're almost there. Then I will go ahead and use those rare candies on them. That way they could be like this, around the same level, level 44, 45, somewhere around there. Or I might just wait until after we get through with all these battles to do it, because that is kind of a lot of experience. I mean, we got more from the Lion Noon than we did from the Shepet, but that's good. Okay, so yeah, next time I win, so that means that we'll be able to take them on multiple times, which is good. Definitely what, I'm, what I need. So, I think we're going to make this episode a little bit shorter today, because uh, I got a lot of stuff that I got to do off screen that I actually have to do this time. I actually have to do it. <laughs> last time, the last couple episodes, I've been saying that I haven't done it. What I need to do off screen, I never done it. So I need to do it this time. I need to get it done. Or we can't basically go on with the series. And this series, along with our other series that are going on right now, is kind of the only things that we're doing. So we don't have too much other series going on. So I want to make sure I have plenty of episodes of this stuff too. So. That's going to be it for today's episode, and then in the next one, we will hopefully be able to take on the minions, and uh, or the bosses, whatever you want to call them, and then we'll be able to finally get to the real gen tower. So I will see you guys in the next episode.